10 million dollars in donations by donating to children around the world. Atomy starts its first companionship with Korea Compassion. Holding a lot of money is not right. Quickly where it can be properly spent. It must flow. Not because it's special, but I think it's normal. There is a company that surprised the world with the largest donation in Compassion's 70-year history to help children around the world. USD 10 million, the main character of this big donation, is a company that has been sharing big and small for a long time. As a distributor that supplies good products at reasonable prices, it's also a solid company that has exported 300 million this year. What was the driving force behind this company that was able to lead continuous growth while prioritizing sharing? The secret is hidden in this office chair. A day in winter when the sun shines warmly Run one by one, got it? They are busy with training according to the coach's instructions. It looks like the women's soccer team. Is this in? I think this is out here. Like this. Here? But their ball handling skills seem clumsy. Even the shoelaces are untied. Is this supposed to be dizzy like this? I'm not dizzy. It's quite dizzy. She hasn't run for a long time. Has she already given up? Remember the last time? Ah, uh, there was a fuss. It's preemptive measures. When are our uniforms coming? I think it will take a month. A month? Really? The orders must have been delayed. I just started, but it's fun. Unless we work together. We often don't get a chance to meet each other. Exercising can actually make people more intimate. So it seems. Above all, it creates a stress-relieving environment. I think the most grateful part is that the company provides it. Hello world, wake me this is an in-house soccer club supported by the company. It's a fresh club that has just been launched thanks to the soccer boom. There are some serious missed kicks. My legs are tired. Training is available after work as well as during the business hours. The expressions of the employees are exceptionally bright. What's the reason? I'm in my sixth year and among the friends who are hired at the same time, unlike the companies in which other friends work. There certainly seems to be a lot of difference. Having such a culture in our company, just by telling them that there is support, I think a lot of my friends are surprised. At the same time, basketball is in full swing in the gym. It's a pretty old in-house basketball club. It's not a professional sports company, but they don't work and everyone is enjoying sports. Literally have fun and work when you want to work. You can approach work with a genuine sincerity. One can be sincere in his or her work. That's right, we're serious about having fun. There's also a horse riding course one can't see often. Horseback riding isn't easy to enjoy as a leisure activity. It is not easy to secure a horse and requires specialized training, so it's a hobby that's not accessible to the general public. Horseback riding is also available to the staff. It's working hours right now. Yes, it's working hours. If you get tired of having fun, there is a welfare to work to ensure that employees can enjoy themselves as much as possible during the working hours. Leisure activities such as horseback riding and swimming are encouraged. Of course, you can do this. A staff who starts the day with horseback riding Ordinary office workers need to set aside time to enjoy health care and hobbies, but this can be done during business hours. Each employee has more free time. They write a lot. 
Basically, five or six people ride horses a day. Chairman's goal is to get 200 people a month. So, based on the 25 days, if eight people ride a day, it will be 200 people. The chairman's been saying so. Will it be so? There is also a swimming pool that requires a large space and is difficult to manage. It's like moving a sports center. There are plenty of fun spaces throughout the company that can be used as playgrounds. I toured the office for the first time when I came for an intern interview. I was so excited that such a company existed. Also, while actually working, I thought, okay, I really want to continue working here. I think I was thinking like this. I think it's an environment where freedom is maximized. Thinking of various creative ideas. I think it can be an environment where we can get along with each other. As a new employee, I think it was a very attractive company. After soccer practice, Miss Ha Hun guides us to her favorite place. This is a ball pool, so I'm just lying here. Or sit here and talk to a friend like this. When I lie here, sometimes people can't see me. So there are times when people come in knowing that I am not here. There's a trampoline and there's people who sometimes jump in that area. But now it may look a little strange, like what's going on? I actually come up with a lot of ideas while having fun. Because I have the energy to think a lot. Keep your thoughts alive to move forward. I think this is what it means. An employee looking for lockers as soon as they go to work. Why are there single lockers? Since it's an autonomous seat system, so when the workers leave work, they usually put everything in their locker or organize their belongings before leaving work. Employees choose where to work according to their mood that day. Working environment and people around them change every day as well. Every time I sit in the same place, it gets really tedious. I feel like I'm stuck in a frame. You're free to sit wherever you want. I feel like I can be a little more open-minded. I get to take good care of myself and it affects others around me. It seems to affect others in a positive way as well. A lot of people go to work in cafes these days. Cafe-style spaces are everywhere. Wouldn't it be inconvenient for the boss as the team members are scattered here and there? In fact, you may not be used to it. When I go to work, I don't know where my team members are. I don't know where they are at. I have to go find them if I need. From a management point of view, about what the invisible team members are doing, you may have negative thoughts. Anyway, in our culture, it's a culture where we trust that they work hard whether we see it or not. In fact, there isn't much defined spaces. Unusual places with fun and laughter are hidden throughout the office. The campground space is popular among staffs. The barriers between departments are gone as they freely mingle in creative spaces. Because all the employees get along without any division of teams, the efficiency between departments is rather doubled. Conversations that start out as casual jokes or concerns lead to work-related ideas and new projects are often created. The workplace itself is not stressful. We think of it as a place to play rather than work. There's a free atmosphere, colorful atmosphere, and fun atmosphere. We can express our intentions more comfortably. Regardless of age or rank, we can talk freely. Creating such an atmosphere, you can think of it as a characteristic of our corporate space. Professor Dong Jin Kim, who designed a creative space at the request of a company. This model makes all the space inside. If you actually make the model bigger, when you look at it like this, the sense of space is fully revealed. It is quite a difficult task to reconcile the thinking of the owner and the architect. 
The office building can be said to embody the symbol of the company and the philosophy of the company in form and space. Designing an office building um, is not easy. It was part of integrating an entrepreneurial spirit. The parts about the corporate spirit that the president means. I think we worked on design together for two or three years. He said a lot, let's make spaces to play. So that each member of the organization becomes creative. If we create a stage where they can work actively and voluntarily, I think he has the idea that work is created by itself. Let's create a play space. There were many objections to that kind of talk. Really, I just play basketball all day. I just go swimming all day. Are you saying I can ride horses all day? I think yes, you can do that as much as you want. Why do I do that? We live that way because it's efficient to live that way. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, in the morning at nine o'clock, people diligently go to work and go home. From the perspective of, is it really effective? Employees shouldn't be too busy with work. It took 10 years to complete the temple-centered playground office building. Chairman Park Han Gil's biggest dream come true. I remember being more happy than anyone else on the day of the completion ceremony. The office building was such a concept as an office inside a play area, and imagine that you work with a desk in the play area. I also think of architecture as a dream job, a space for creative thinking. And many people communicate with each other, creating a space for collaboration, in a way, in the process of making the most abstract dreams a reality. I wonder if a new place is born from that idea. The office building, which contains the corporate spirit, has also left a mark in the industry of architecture, receiving great awards in Korea and the United States. It has been a long time since Chairman Han Gil Park laid down his authority to establish a flexible organizational culture. The chairman who ran excitedly and arrived at the meeting room first. Hello, Chairman. Hello, Chairman. Welcome. 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 Happy New Year. Happy New bless Year. you. Bless you. I am too blessed. Take it all, take it all. I should stop taking it. Meetings that appear and disappear from time to time when a project occurs. The person is in charge of the person who knows best about this matter. It doesn't matter if you're an intern or a new employee. But after I write it, it must be out of balance. Everything has to be corrected. I'll do all the corrections after. This is more than writing. Rather, it's to show an artistic performance. I think it would look a little more artistic if it came out like hieroglyphs. By the way, body movements are also performances because I have to keep those feelings alive. Then, once you have a choice... If you do worse than me... A project that anyone can attend if they raise their hands. Neither do they feel hesitant or unilaterally follow the opinion of the president. You can see conversation doesn't stop. I was very uncomfortable at first. Rather, the president being present. The direction is sufficiently further discussed. I think we can convince them. Rather, it is good to think that there are many such opportunities. There are many cases where the president comes in while passing by. He says, what are you doing? And then, we're having a meeting like this. There are many cases of let's do it together. Because when we have meetings, in fact, all opinions are equal. In fact, the president's opinion weighs the same. Employees don't listen well to the chairman. Everyone's doing what they think. Because in fact, that's what's good. An employee who doesn't listen to me and challenges me? I adore such an employee. If you take off the chairman's badge and defy him, that's a pleasure. I won't just lose because I just don't. Challenging each other. It feels good to have an employee who beats me. Just put it away. This place, lined with partitions, is a space that Chairman Park pays special attention to. Right, wouldn't it be nicer not to have this by side? 
Do you mean like this? Yes. That way you can put your feet on the side and work more comfortably. The purpose of making this... It was meant to be a place to hide and rest. You can't stretch your feet here. Well done here, put it aside. In fact, if we say that it was an open space in the past, that's a factory system. This is how the owner and superiors see employees at work. There were a lot of these terrifying modern architectures like surveillance systems, but in this case, the chairman's was rather open. Individuals can freely hide and work. Let's create a space where we can relax together. There were these two things. I think it's a difference in how you view people. So people are naturally lazy. If you do not supervise them, they just lay down and play. There seems to be a point of view like this. I view that there are no lazy people. This is how I see it. It's hard because the mother's kids are so diligent. Have you seen a mother struggling because her child is lazy? But one day, that's the case. The child suddenly becomes lazy. The kid doesn't want to do what he's told. There's only one reason. Don't let them do what they want. But they are told to do something they don't want to do. That kind of thing happens. I've been telling you to clean up a desk here. Work after, clean up here. If we cleaned it up, the chairman would never come here. That's right. No, this is too much. Am I not right? I can't deny it. I was wrong. What is this here? I should take a picture. Chairman. Chairman, please give me a guidance period. No. There are employees who live like this. No, no matter how beautiful our office building is, it's no use like this if you live like this. Chairman, please. I really don't think this should be as it is. I uploaded it on the employee group chat room. He did upload it. What should I do? It's uploaded. I never exaggerated. I'm just posting the facts. What do your employees think like this? Face two. Check whether your face is broadcasted or not. Even if a face isn't broadcasted, everyone knows who's here. Even if we are talking in a cafe, he comes without hesitation. Asks us what we are thinking. He also tells us what he's been thinking lately. Talks about his worries as well. Time with the chairman that other companies do? A monthly meeting? Rather than those fixed preachings. Having this frequent communication time. These are the things that come first and feel deeper for employees. Everyone is doing their job. They don't come. Other companies require an approval sign to work. So even if I sit still, workers have no choice but to bring it. We can do everything without my signature. So they don't come to me. Prepayment is also a central culture for the company. There is no top-down decision culture, so the authority to promote and create work rests with each employee. There's a certain internal catchphrase called Cha Chang Kyok Ji. Being a general means that you are the subject of that decision. Because it means that you get to work. The right the employee has. It is your responsibility to perform to the best of your ability. The results resulting from the exercise of such rights. Wouldn't that be part of the company? Responsibility for the various problems that arise from doing so. The company deserves to take it. This is possible because we have a different perspective that sees failure as a process rather than a conclusion. Oddly enough, the chairs of this company are all the same model. It's one of the best office chairs. All employees are using the same chair. The boss is using a large swivel chair. The director's is different. The manager's is different. The employee's chair is different. 
But the people who sit the most are the employees. I have to provide them a top-notch chair. So now I gave those chairs as a gift to all of my employees. And on the other hand, now I've been thinking, because they sat on the same chair as the chairman, all employees are the same as the chairman. One's rank is also determined by oneself. Just decide on your own job title and engrave it on your business card. There are many managers and team leaders. I mean, out of five managers, there will be only one person who will become a department head. Then the rest of the four is pushed in the competition. I wonder if such a system is justified. If you tell them to cooperate and the system creates a competitive system, then how do they collaborate? If you give them the liberty of writing your own rank at will on the business card, there's no need to look good by trying hard or having to push others to get promoted. They wouldn't feel the need to do so. If they remain only as colleagues rather than in competition, they will share everything and cooperation will naturally follow. It also helps them make quick decisions. Now, in fact, rather than perfection in anything, timing is very important. Making small failures and moving towards success. That's a much better way. Trying to be perfect and missing the timing is a much bigger failure. To avoid further failure. In a way, it's a very wise choice. It has been selected as one of the best companies to work for in various places, including the 2020 Korea 100 Best Companies to Work For. Last year, it was also selected as a good company to work for in Asia. A good company to work for can't have bad performance, right? Since its foundation, it has grown 40 times in Korea and has grown steadily, increasing its sales by more than 60 times in nine years of entering overseas markets. Last year, total sales reached 2.2 trillion won. It is enough to become a regular winner of the Export Tower Award Ceremony. Atomy Co. Limited. Export Tower awarded to companies that have exported in excess of that amount by tallying direct and indirect export performance for one year from July to June of the following year. It was honored with the award for exceeding $300 million in exports this year. It's only been two years since it received the $100 million export tower. Only 23 companies nationwide have more than $300 million towers. It has the best tower among companies in Chungcheong Namdo. Through export, facility investment, and job creation, income increases, considering the impact on the domestic economy. The production effect introduced after 2010 was about 2 trillion Korean won. The effect of inducing employment is estimated to be about 10,000 or more. With great marketing know-how accumulated in the domestic market and cheap and high-quality products, it is being chosen by consumers around the world. The ripple effect of domestic demand on exports is also significant. 10,593 jobs are created when exports increase by 1 billion won. As the scale of management increases and the number of jobs increases accordingly, the good influence of the company is created in a virtuous cycle structure. The rapid and steady growth is the result of adhering to the principle of absolute quality and absolute price. It is a strategy to catch both rabbits, quality and price. Differentiate ourselves from others by raising quality. There is such a strategy that raising price is unavoidable. Another thing is that even if the quality is a little low, I will go with price competitiveness. This is the core of the differentiation strategy usually talked about in business administration. There's no need to give up anything from the consumer's point of view. It's valuable to consumers. Then let's pursue both. It discovers excellent small and medium-sized enterprises, supply high-quality products at reasonable prices, and provides stable sales channels to partners. In the process, the company provides funding for partner companies to expand their production lines and lower costs due to increased production. If you sell a lot of good products at a low price, your sales will increase. Ultimately, consumers can trust and continue to use the product at absolute quality and absolute price. I think that the principle of distribution is that if you sell a good product at a low price, it will sell well. If you want to be successful in the long run, the answer is to follow the principle. 
health functional food with absolute quality and absolute price which didn't work well in the beginning. It currently accounts for a significant portion of its sales. At a time of development the quality was excellent but the price was so high that it almost went out of business. Rather, at the time the production increased and the winning move was conducted. At first we had almost no margin. I just gave the product at a cost level. Because I sell a lot, the price goes down. Because the cost goes down, the manufacturer does not take all the profits. It returns to the seller. The cycle was a win-win for both distributors and manufacturers. I think you can look at it like this. It is a risky method with a high possibility of extinction if the product does not sell as much as you think. A method of lowering the cost by volume sales at a low unit margin of profit. You can't do it without confidence. It is a kind of return from having a certain belief, should I say. If the price is lowered and the quality is raised. If there are no more sales, what will happen to the manufacturer? There will be a loss. As sales increased, I increased the number of pouches per product box. Each time I increased the amount, the sales continue to rise by 2, 30%. When a product is launched, we try not to get rid of the product as much as possible. We try very hard to achieve a virtuous cycle within us with partners. We continue to support backups. Costs that fall in the process are returned to consumers. Whether it's returned through the sale price or in quantity, more than a reasonable profit, we have a policy not to take them, no matter how low the cost is. If we say that a company takes this much profit, in fact, in terms of price, it can't go down. Building trust where headquarters and manufacturers are on equal footing do not take advantage of surplus and do not deceive each other. It's not that easy. The company refers to its partners as joint partners. If cooperation means helping each other for the sake of one cause, joint cooperation means working together to achieve success as one family. It means everyone is a partner. There are partners who have survived from the brink. There was a fire in the production plant in 2016, so I came to the scene with that despairing heart. Then I got a phone call. I said, who will be calling it this time? Vice Chairman Kyung Hee Do called and comforted me, saying, if there's anything to help, please tell me. It was a lot of comfort. There was a loss of about 3.5 billion won in the fire. I've been given a million dollar loan for free. In general, when the supply of goods is cut off in a general company, they would be looking for another replacement company. They waited for the factory to operate normally. It took quite a while for it to nominalize, but the headquarters and consumers waited patiently. The money borrowed from the head office becomes seed money to build a high-tech factory and rather an opportunity was provided through that disaster. As soon as the partners normalized, the price was maintained while the product capacity was increased and delivered. You can find out if you're interested. Of course, if you run a small business, you don't have enough funds. And the marketing channel is unstable, so by the principle of one product, one company, one company per item, as long as there's no moral hazard once the transaction is made, we'll go with them till the end. To the joint partners, I have low status among them. We are serving them. Because the quality of all products coming from us. It is the quality made by us and the joint partners. But the people who work on that production line, if they are uncomfortable and have a bad heart, it can never match that quality because everything is still within the scope of humans. In the network marketing business, the reaction of the market is essence. In order to make repeated purchases beyond the first purchase, we need to open the minds of consumers. The company's return rate is around 0.2%, which is the lowest in the retail industry. They see consumers also as the concept of cooperation. In the first place, the absolute quality and absolute price were made possible because the consumer was at the center. Whether such efforts worked, last year's consumer-centered management was rectified. The CCM certification system, which was first started in 2007, is so demanding that only 182 companies were certified as of last year. Fighting! A certified company can be proud of that. 
2019. At that time, the perception of network marketing, it wasn't that good. The multi-level method is part of a single sales method. As consumers misunderstood, there was a lot of negative perception about this method itself. Nevertheless, several indicators had enough scores. I know that the company has been certified with excellent grades. CCM is easy to get certified, but much harder to maintain. This is the reason why many companies fail to recertify even if they get certified with difficulty. It is through the will of the company that the success of the customer is the success of the company. In October of last year, valuable guests visited the company. They are the people who will spend their hard-earned money wisely. Now I have to help some Ugandan children. There are children with potential, but I cannot help them all. Yes, let's save 100 Ugandan children. At the moment when you have no choice but to die. They live and grow beautifully in front of our eyes. If you watch them grow into a wonderful adult, there is no joy and happiness in this world. Nothing in the world can be comparable. 10 million dollars in donations by donating to children around the world. We start our first companionship with Korea Compassion. Thoroughly research where you donate, make sure you are looking at the same direction and then share generously. They tried to donate it to another donor. Things didn't work out. It's not right to hold big money. It should flow to a place where it can be used properly. So we know that they've done quite a bit of background research on us. Because when we met, there were many questions. This is something one would never know without a thorough investigation. Compassion was created as an aid organization during the Korean War. Korea, which had received the warmth of the world, has now become the center of this organization and has become the country with the most active support. The company did a solid job. To gain one's name and reputation, I can see it wasn't such a donation. Many companies participate and donate like this company. That things will happen that warms a society. I am longing for that. Rather than because it is special, but I think it's natural. If 12 billion is a lot of money, it can be big. Actually, for the kids who need to eat and sleep well, compared to the number of children, I don't think it's a lot of money. It is said that more blessed are those who give than those who receive. If you donate, you can immediately see what it means. People who know the joy of sharing better than anyone. More than 10% of their income is consistently given away to the society. Donations have been made since the beginning of the establishment. Since 2009, close to KRW 60 billion has been donated to neighbors. If you look at the ratio of donations to sales in the household goods distribution industry, you can see that it shares with its neighbors at a fairly high rate. Sharing also has its own standards. Above all, it puts the welfare of children first. It spares no effort when it comes to raising and educating children around the world. Atomy, a company that values life, will hold a donation delivery ceremony to support single mothers. Single-parent families have been providing continuous support for a long time. With MOM, a non-profit organization that helps mothers who have become single-parent families. The relationship with this place represents the identity of the company as it is. It was about five years ago. And the at-the-time CEO contacted me. I didn't know that person at all. He didn't even say he was a representative. He just texted me. He told me that he wants to donate, because we were not an official corporation at the time. It was a time when there was no donation receipt. That's why I said I can't even give a donation receipt. He wondered why I couldn't, in spite of being active for so long. I said that I didn't have the money to set up a corporation. He said, okay, and hung up the phone. And a few days later, the representative came. By listening to us, creating a foothold to create cooperation. 
he said that he wanted to help. That's how he formed a corporation. When those faced with a choice in the middle of their lives gained courage, the company held their hand. It even donated 10 billion won for single mothers. The meticulous attention to detail in everyday life shows the meaning of sharing rather than helping. I was joking and talked to the representative. I want to gather several mothers of babies and dye their hair as a group. There will be clothes and brands they want. I said that I wanted to do things tailored to that. The representative said he would be very happy to know. Sometimes I get confused about this company and what it is. In fact, it is not a company. There are times when I am confused as to whether it is a non-profit organization like us. It's very active. Be aggressive with us in good things. From the nearest, the little things, right now, this is the basic principle of company sharing. I think that sharing is not an incidental activity, but the essence of a company and a natural culture. Ten years ago when I joined, I don't think it's much different now. The motto is, let's earn more money to do good things. I think you can feel the flow throughout the company. In 2022, let's practice gratitude. I have that goal. I don't think I've ever had a goal like this. I think it was the company that gave me that mindset. It doesn't stop just at the corporate level. Members have created an SOS sharing society and continue to voluntarily share. There are also individual donors who have donated more than 1 billion won. Once you get help, I'll be someone's helper too. Seeing all of this talk, although we start with a small donation, it can really change the whole society. I think there will be a culture like that. In a world where it's not easy to take care of yourself, a corporate culture that naturally makes you think of your neighbors. The story is that they make money to share. The spread of corporate culture is also continuing in overseas business. GSGS strategy to find products that match popular luxury goods in overseas markets and supply them through the company's global sales network. There are also significant benefits to the local economy. This year, through New Zealand, Turkey, UK, Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan, we expanded into five countries and expanded into 22 countries in total. Looking at the foreign countries that we've expanded so far, before a company opens by creating a corporation, our products are recognized by consumers in that country first. The more we are recognized, the more we can spread globally. I see more opportunities. When a product is spread through word of mouth, local voices demanding overseas expansion grow and a local corporation is naturally established. It's using a strategy to win the hearts of consumers with absolute quality and absolute price and return the money earned locally to the locals. It's thinking about what kind of care should be given to children there and it's working on that first. Care and education are investments for the future. Leading companies are changing their management form to ESG, which prioritizes environmental protection, social contribution, and governance transformation for the future. Among them, environmental protection is the number one task that companies need to solve right away. It's thinking of solutions for our suffering planet. Distribution industry that inevitably has to mass produce packaging waste. The eco-friendly smart packaging solution that it started at the beginning of last year is a small solution that came out of after such a thought. The buffer and individual packing materials as well as the tape have been completely replaced. The box we make in collaboration with this company. You can think of it as an eco-friendly box. The box is chemical free. It is a box using an eco-friendly material logistics method. This distributor and our shipping company made an agreement together. You can think of it as such a box. The company chooses the future instead of the immediate profit. 
The cost and process are not easy, but it is a situation that must be changed unconditionally. Industrial waste cannot be turned into environmental waste. Results of operation for one year last year. We were able to reduce the amount of plastic used by 230 tons. In this regard, the cost aspect can go up two to three times. In providing such an eco-friendly service for customers, it catches that part well and follows the trend of the times. I think it is a company that adapts a lot. With the belief that there is no need to procrastinate any longer, the environmental departments are devoted to developing eco-friendly materials and exchanging ideas as long as they get together. This is made out of paper. I think the plastic usage will be reduced by about 50%. This team is also in charge of the eco-friendly project, Blue Marine, which has been steadily ongoing for three years. The chairman always said the earth is to be borrowed from posterity. He says this a lot, with global members all over the world. To lead the spread of this culture, we have such a mission. Blue Marine Project, which establishes and promotes zero plastic, global eco-friendly culture, and strategies to prevent marine pollution. Most of the employees are practicing the collection of an empty bottle or using a tumbler. The goal is to reduce plastic use by 50% by 2030. The in-house cafe is a social enterprise where disabled and non-disabled people harmonize. It's also involved in environmental protection by making takeout very inconvenient. If one takes the cup, it needs to be returned to the cafe. We are not using disposable cups at all now. We are stopping using disposable cups. When I inform this to the head office, many managers in other stores seem to be interested because there are still some practical difficulties. They are thinking about it. If we tolerate a little discomfort, then we can create a better environment and a better future. As such awareness spreads, I think many people will participate. We are also carrying out various and continuous campaigns to protect the environment. I believe that environmental protection along with sharing is the most necessary social contribution today. It's also the reason we go out to sea together. Capital isn't a bad thing. In terms of being able to go to the good side of contributing to humanity, I think it's quite fortunate that the ESG movement is happening. It's not that companies are being forced to. This kind of atmosphere of actively participating in it is happening. I think it's really good. Absolute quality, absolute price, a company that deviated from the basics of business administration. But in the end, it sticks to the principle. Our product is the lowest among all similarly looking products. There are people who think this way. We are pursuing the lowest price with the same specifications. Priority and quality means that we look at the price after the quality. I was thinking of leaving this industry. An unresolved feeling that I had was that I really want to try it the textbook way. However, once I decided to do it only by principle, it actually did happen. A company is a playground, not a workplace. A company that tells Sophistry to do what you want to do when you get tired of playing in a hidden space. I think a lot while playing. I actually come up with a lot of ideas while playing. Break down barriers in your mind through these leisure activities. These moments of becoming one. It seems to make us do our jobs better. The pursuit of profit is the basic purpose of a business. However, it is an unusual company that works to live well by sharing with neighbors rather than making a profit. Even now, I am always grateful for them. They paid a lot of attention to us volunteers. It was so warm. And because of that interest, we could work harder. Not just making money. In the end, the heart that knows how to look at people in need. Isn't this real success? If my child is to live well, the child next door must also live well. After realizing that, it's a work that I must do. Leave everything to the individual freely. A rare company with no rank and without any interference. We can really do what we want. I really think so. 
as it continues to create new forms. I thought it was an evolving company. The company's unique and fresh innovation culture has made many things possible. Because you can dream freely without being confined to a frame. I think it would be nice if some weird people came in, so maybe things I haven't thought. I wish there were some employees who would do things like that. Even in those days when we had only one dream, we grew up with honesty and goodness. We will continue to do so with honesty and goodness in the future. Whether someone knows it or not, doing that is. I think this is the way our company should go. Isn't innovation management like this?